this story is more than just about Jesus and Zacchaeus. There's actually, there's another party involved. Actually, there's a lot of people involved. It's the crowd. You know, here we are in a big football stadium, surrounded by seats where every Saturday crowds sit. And the crowds sit and watch the players on the field and they bring observation, they bring judgment, they bring criticism, they bring applause when it's all going well. The crowd watch on as the players play. And here we have Jesus out on the pitch of life, expressing grace and love to a broken sinner. And we have a crowd and it says this, the crowd murmured. The crowd murmured. That means the crowd weren't happy. The crowd had seen Jesus heal someone, heal a blind person a little while earlier. And now they were passing judgment on Jesus. They were calling his reputation into account because of the company he kept. When was the last time your reputation was called into account because of the company you keep? The crowd, that's what they were doing. They were looking down on Jesus, passing judgment. You know what it says in Romans 12? It says, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world. I would put it to you that this world, this Western world that we live in, has a pattern. And one of those patterns is judgment. We learn how to judge through our television, through our media, through our newspapers, through X Factor, through, through our like button on Facebook. We all learn how to judge. We learn how to judge. And then it says in James, mercy triumphs over judgment. And the crowd judged and Jesus showed mercy. So what I see in this part of the story is that as Christ says, I will go and eat with you, and as the crowd moan and groan, that he is being countercultural, that he is saying mercy triumphs over judgment. Grace is the way forward. We should eat with the broken, the lost, the sinners. This is the way that I want you to walk. This is why we come down from our trees. This is why we engage. This is why we stop observing Christ and start walking with him. When we walk with Christ, we're gonna end up walking around with broken people. It's gonna happen every time. And I think there's like a, a call on us to be countercultural, to be people who express mercy, not judgment, to look on at this story of Jesus and Zacchaeus and realize that Jesus calls down an insignificant, small, yet nasty sinner and hangs out with him. And we should learn from that, to get off the terraces, to stop being those who sit around and judge the immigrant or judge the prostitute or judge the unemployed guy across the road who's just bought a new 50 inch plasma screen. We should get off the terraces and go and be with those people, loving them, eating with them, hanging out with them. That's the call, that's the call of grace. That's what we're meant to be doing out there on the pitch is expressing grace and love and mercy. Let's get off the terraces. Let's stop being observational. Let's be engaged in this journey with Christ, which is a journey of love, mercy and grace.